Hey, Sneaky Nose back today. Look what I got. It's Solus OS, release candidate 4. So we're almost there. You and I, touch the sky. You know what I'm saying? As you know, Solus, good old Nomi, going down what I'm saying, does what it says on the tin. It is a really, really a popular distro at the moment. I've been doing it for golden knows how long now. A long time. IQ's good old geezer and the team, and they're working on lots of stuff. Now, this one looks really nice. So, shall I log in first? Yes, let's log in. Okay, and off we go. And we just take a couple of seconds, and we'll be in our desktop environment, if you know what I'm saying. Of course you do. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to have a bit of drinkage. Hang on. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Diet water. Nice. As you can see, really, really nice and clean desktop. I like the menu bar down the bottom. It looks and fits just well with this screen. Well, looks okay all together, really, when you think about it. Now I've installed it, so it's all nicey nicey. The installer's also got a lot better. Yes, you still have to partition your disk manually, but it's all part of the installer now. So that's all hunky dory. And it does all the bootload of it for you. Took me about nine minutes, eight minutes, and it was all done. So it's all nice and simple. So that's that bit out of the way. So, being the old no me, we've got a computer, this is my home, and my waste basket, rubbish bin. Okay, got my time and date down the bottom here, a little notification window, my volume down the bottom there, and my ethernet there, okay? So that's pretty super cool. There was one update to do, or there was, there was several in the list, there was only one that I had to do, so that's pretty cool as well. What else can I say? Well, I don't know. Let's have a look, shall we? <clears throat> Go to the menu. As you can say, lovely, lovely, lovely. So you get usual here, all places, accessory, games, graphics, internet, office, sound, video, and system tools. So we're going to open up the system monitor and make sure that's all checking out and what we're doing. Now, as you can see, we're using 132 megs of RAM, which is very, very, very nice indeed. And the CPUs are not doing much either when you think about it. Really, are they? No, they're not. So that's a pretty cool way. So that's that bit. <clears throat> Back to system tools. I'm going to go through them with you quite quickly because... Although I've done them before, they have been changing gradually, okay? So over here we've got configuration editor, disk usage, disk utility, la 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 la, service pack creator, software log viewer, system monitor, which I've just opened, and configure wine, red, red wine, and all that, okay? And down here you've also got the control center. So if I go to the control center, you've got your flash settings about me. Remember, flash is already installed for you, so everything should look and work hunky dory out of the box, which is really nice. Configure your compass settings here too, and desktop settings. Emerald theme manager, yep. The first run wizard, yeah, that's there. I'll let you look at that when you have a look, okay? When you get downloaded and do it. All your Bluetooth stuff, network, network connections, and network proxy. Keyboard monitors, mousey mousey. Power management if you've got a laptop, of course. And you've got add and remove software. Shall we open that up? Let's have a look, see what we've got in the book, shall we? And there we go. It's his own little software century sort of thing. But do remember, you still have got... Right, listen, you still have got, listen, Synaptic Package Manager, for those of you that like it. So, anyway, if I go to Multimedia, maybe, and I look for Minitube, he did say that there's a new version of Minitube that you put in the repos. So, if we find that, shall we? There may be something in there, there may be not. Or maybe I'm just not looking enough. But we've already got that one. So it's already in the package, so even better, yes. Now remember Minitube, you don't actually need Flash to play back the videos, okay, so that's pretty cool. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. I go to Menu, and it should be under Internet, no, it's not under Sound and Video, silly me. Open up Minitube here, there we go, dum 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 dum, -dum. I'll just put me in, not, and so my stuff would be there. Some of my old videos there, loads and loads actually, so if I double click here, it'd be even better, we'll go for that one instead. You can change your format. So it says 720. Now, when I tried it earlier, okay, when I tried it earlier, it didn't want to play ball at 720p. So let's see if it does it this time, okay? So hold on a second. Let's wait for the video to go through. In a second, it's actually started a little bit for some reason. Maybe Xbox has been used upstairs more than likely, okay? Let's have a little wait. Right, we seem to have got the best quality there. Well, a better quality. It's still not quite up to 720 standards, as far as I'm aware. But if I click here and go full screen, maybe? Oh, that looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll click with that. Yeah. So in theory, if I click there, we should go back to usual. Okay. So, Minitube works. That's really nice. Okay. We're going to go through some progress with you. And there's some stuff in here that isn't here, and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So, accessories. It's all the usual. Archive manager, calculator, get it, root terminal, search for files. Games and amusements, even. Can't speak today. 
there is play on Linux here. So if you want to play your Windows games, lovely jubbly. Now remember, it doesn't always work. It all depends on what games you're trying to use, okay? I've had some success with it, and other times it just goes, nah, go away, okay? But under graphics, you get GUN, GNU Paint, just for painting, GTHUM for looking at your photographs, and Simple Scan, okay? Internet, Dropbox is standard, and Firefox for your web browser. So let's go and have a quick look over there. We'll open the Fox up and see what's going down in the hood, okay? So, open that nice and big for you. There's nothing in the tab. So we'll go and see what Solus is all about. What have I read? Yes, I think I have. Jolly good. Shine on. Yeah, maybe. What font that is, though. Anyway, here's the site. You can go and download it from here. <laughs> yeah, actually, the site got overloaded the other day because it's just been uh, announced in Distro Watch, so he's now listed about bleeding time. It's slow them people sometimes, don't they? I don't know. Anyway, yes. So you can download it from here or you go to Distro Watch and get it down there if you really want to. It works out of the box. I've never had it crash on me personally, so yeah, maybe do. I'll click there. Right, what else can we see here? So, da, da, da. so we go to the Bubba Make sure the pictures come up and all nicey nicey. Yes, go here, here and here. Yeah, it looks all right. I think we can do that. Yes, lovely, super. I like it. Okay, so it's your web browser's all right, isn't it? Right. Pigeon is standard here. You do get extras as well. The latest Mozilla Thunderbird and Firefox, as I just said. Office. We get Libre Office Libre. Full baby, full. It's full Libre. I know Sam. Sound and video. Full burning, you get Brazero and Cheese. No mem player for playing M player stuff. Mini choose as we just seen. There's a movie player, so that's alright. Open shot is also here for you to use, okay? Pulse audio, do we get audio stuff? Blah 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 blah. Rhythm box is your music player. It is my favourite actually. Thank you very much, Argy. And VLC for doing all the stuff that won't play anything else. Okay. I've done system tools. We'll do control center. Let's do control center again. We'll go down, 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 down. I'll open up Synaptic Package and Manager. Okay, what's my password? I've reloaded it because I've been checking it out earlier, basically. If you know what I'm saying, of course you do. So I'm going to look for a blender here. I won't use the software center. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. There we go. And see what comes up. A little while. It's 249, so it's not the ultimate, ultimate greatest, but it does what it says on the tin, okay? Obviously, as uh, Debian gets more mature, you will be able to get the most current one, or you can download the PPA, whichever you want to do. But if you want to keep it nice and stable, keep with this one for the time being. So if I click Mark for installation, as for instance, and then Mark and Apply. I need to download 10 megabytes of stuff, so we might as well download it while we're here. Look, oh, that's a nice fast connection, isn't it? Mm, jolly good. Mm. Mm. It starts installing its stuff, its bits and bobs. It shouldn't take too long, really. Look, and it goes along and along. I moved it up for you. Blah, 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 blah. Almost done. Post installation, trigger manual, make sure it's all working hunkily dorily, which of course it will do. Five to one. Are we done yet? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? We're almost done. Are we done yet? Yes, we're done. So we're closed here, we'll let Synaptic reload and then we'll go and check it out and make sure it all works in the hood, okay? Or under the hood even. Okay, so we can close that down just this one time, two time. If we go to graphics, and there we are. So I'm going to go to Blender Windows, I don't want to full screen just yet. And there you go, 249B. So, lovely jubbly, all does what it says on the tin. Yes, I'm liking it anyway. Anyway, Solus OS, release candidate 4. Do I like it? Bloody hell do I. 95 out of 100. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.